So we're now going to display the prices inside of a Bitcoin card. So let's, inside of our components folder, create a new component. That will be called Bitcoin card. And we'll need a Bitcoin card.js and a Bitcoin card.css. I'm going to take from our loading card and copy that into our Bitcoin card and we'll replace our loading card and we'll call this a Bitcoin card. So we could simply just upgrade our loading card to take props and then instead display the Bitcoin data, otherwise the skeleton text. But to keep things simple for this course, I simply just want to make a new component that displays the prices. We will of course remember to update this to be bitcoincard.css. So let's make our Bitcoin card take in props. And when we take in props, we can then display inside of the subtitle, the props.data.code. And inside of the title, we want to display the props.data.rate underscore float. This will be the current price of Bitcoin, i.e. the current rate in a float value. With that in mind, we can head back over to app.js and from within here, we can import the Bitcoin card from dot slash components slash Bitcoin card slash a Bitcoin card. Inside of our render method, we could go ahead here and return an object dot keys and that will be based on the Bitcoin info. We want to use the dot BPI, that's the Bitcoin price information. We can then map over each one of those items. That gives us an item and an index. And for each item, we can return a Bitcoin card. We can pass that through the data of Bitcoin info dot BPI, and then we want the item itself. We'll then have to go up here and set loading equal to false so that we no longer see these cards. And once the application then renders again, you can see we have USD, GBP, and Euros. If we wanted to, we could take this out into its own function. So we could call this create Bitcoin cards and return the object dot keys and we'd want the Bitcoin info and we could pass that through in this dot create Bitcoin cards, pass in the Bitcoin info. So there we have it. We can see our Bitcoin price information here on screen. I would like to in the next video, look at how we can theme our application.